Welcome to Evening Prayers for Wednesday the 13th of May, based on a reflection by the Reverend Frank Toppin, a retired Methodist minister, entitled Courage for the Night. Lord of the evening, the day has passed, but the day's problems are still with me. Sometimes I wish the day away. I long for the night, hoping that sleep will envelop my difficulties, banish them forever beneath the blanket of darkness, that I might rise to a fresh new day with my slate wiped clean. But day follows day, and I am still the same person, with the same problems, questions, difficulties. Lord, I wish I could stand at a distance, far away from today, then perhaps I could smile at today's problems. If I look at last year's worries or even last month's, I know for a fact that I have survived. And that gives me hope. But I don't want to run away or live my life at a distance. I want to enjoy the daily battle of life as I live it. I think we can all sympathise with Frank's words as we live in these strange days of pandemic, wishing we could stand at a distance and watch it from afar. But his words of hope come to us. Words of hope once spoken similarly by Isaiah the prophet, who reminds us of our God who is with us in everything we face. From Isaiah chapter 43, in the first five verses, is very comforting words of the prophecy. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead. Since you are precious and honoured in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid. For I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and the west and gather you all together. Do not be afraid, says God. I am with you. The God who was with the people of Israel. The God who was with floundering disciples. The God who in Jesus Christ died and rose again to give us hope and victory and the assurance of eternal new life. That God who pours out his Holy Spirit, that God is with us. We listen to the worship song as we reflect on the hope of Scripture, beautiful Lord, wonderful Saviour. Oh, oh, oh. 
you gently call us into your presence, Lord, draw near, draw near and stay. In our prayers, let us say a prayer for those who need to be remembered tonight. For those who have made the news headlines today because of what they have done or said, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have been brought to our attention through a conversation or by a meeting on Facebook or Zoom or however we have gathered, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are in hospital or in care homes or in a place which is strange to them, especially with the concerns of coronavirus and the difficulties all around us, whether patient, resident, worker or carer, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are waiting, waiting for a birth or for a death or for news which will affect their life, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who need to forget the God they do not believe in and meet the God who believes in them, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we believe that you hear our prayer and will be faithful to your promise to answer us. When our eyes open again, May they do so not to end our devotions, but to expect your kingdom, for which we pray in the name of Jesus, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And finally, in the words of Frank Topham. Tonight, Lord, give me courage to see tomorrow as a friend, as a new opportunity to put things right, to see the new day as a gift, my millionth chance to start again. To see the new day is rich in possibilities, that even the wildest dreams can come true, where there is faith, hope and love. Lord, fill our dreams tonight with your spirit, so that we may face the world armed with these gifts that nothing can destroy. And may the blessing of God Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you, with those whom you have prayed for, and with all God's people, this evening time and forevermore. Amen.